Welcome to one mega video channel. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, and share with your friends. In this video, we will see some of the European royals wearing ruby jewels, birthstone of July month. This is part two of the video. Check the part one in the end. Prince Rainier of Monaco proposed to Grace Kelly, who was Hollywood movie star from the USA, with a diamond and ruby eternity band by Cartier to represent the colors of the principality flag. The stones were reportedly taken from heirlooms from the Monegasque royal family. The American actress showed off her new royal engagement ring here in Abou Picture in Chicago, USA, in 1956. After arriving by train from New York City, Prince Rainier of Monaco was due to join his future bride in the United States, where she had to wrap her final film commitments before their royal wedding. The ruby band was the first of two royal engagement rings Princess Grace of Monaco would wear soon before their royal wedding. Prince Rainier of Monaco gave his bride a 10.48 carat Cartier ring. The new ring featured an emerald cut diamond with two baguette side stones. It even featured in her final on-screen role the 1956 movie High Society. In this official portrait of Princess Grace of Monaco, the Monegasque royal is wearing her most iconic Cartier jewels. On her head is the Benz de Mer tiara, a royal wedding present to Princess Grace of Monaco from the Society des Benz de Mer, which owns the Monte Carlo Casino and Hotel de Paris. Its name meaning is sea baths. The royal tiara features three detachable diamond and cobalt ruby clips set in gold and platinum. Princess Grace of Monaco wore the tiara to her pre-wedding party in April 1956. It is one of just two personally owned by Princess. Princess Grace of Monaco The Benz de Mer tiara was made by Cartier and was a very versatile piece. The clips could be worn as brooches, hair clips, and transformed into a necklace. Princess Grace of Monaco wore the Benz de Mer jewels in all its variations. Her daughter, Princess Caroline of Monaco, has worn the pieces as brooches several times. Princess Grace of Monaco wore two elements from the Benz de Mer tiara to her 40th birthday party in 1969. Prince Rainier of Monaco had gifted his wife a bracelet and a ring to match the tiara, which are both worn here in our picture, both featuring blood red rubies and white diamonds. Much like Princess Grace of Monaco's first engagement ring, this set of jewels features the colors of Monaco's flag. It is known as the Van Cleef and Arpels ruby and diamond suit, crafted in gold and platinum. It has diamonds and rubies set in a cluster design. The suit includes a tiara, necklace, earrings, and a bracelet, all worn by Princess Grace of Monaco. Here in our picture, in November 1973, to a ball inside the Palace of Versailles in France, it is believed to have been made by Van Cleef and Arpels and borrowed for the event. Much like her late mother-in-law, Princess Charlene of Monaco pays tribute to Monaco's flag with her ruby jewels from Monaco's National Day celebrations on November 19, 2019. Princess Charlene of Monaco wore these graph earrings. They feature 20 carat of rubies and 11 carats of diamonds. On her right wrist, which is out of shot, is a matching bracelet. Princess Charlene of Monaco wore a pair of graph ruby and diamond Bombay earrings to the 2015 Princess Grace Awards Gala in Monaco. The Dutch royal family has two large ruby tiaras in its collection. The biggest and most important is the Melerio ruby tiara. The royal tiara is part of a parour which includes a necklace, bracelet, stomacher, brooch, earrings, and fan. Queen Maxima of the Netherlands wears tiara, necklace, bracelet, and earrings from this set here in our picture at the royal wedding of Prince Carl Philip of Sweden to Princess Sofia of Sweden on June 13, 2015.
On June 28, 2022, during a royal visit to Austria, Queen Maxima of the Netherlands wore pieces from the Malaria Ruby set. Queen Maxima attached a large diamond and ruby pendant to another diamond necklace and wore the Malaria Ruby bracelet and stud earrings, all a perfect match for her Jan Tamanio gown. The Malario Ruby Tiara features rows of suspended diamonds between three large ruby and diamond scrolls. The piece was made in 1889 by French dwellers Malario Ditzmiller. Dutch Queen Maxima wore the tiara here in the above picture in 2012 at a gala dinner in Luxembourg. In the year 2021, a book about Princess Amalia of the Netherlands, the future Queen of the Netherlands, was released for her 18th birthday. It included a never-before-seen photograph of Princess Amalia as a child, trying on her one of her mother's tiaras. Princess Amalia, then aged around 8, is seen here in above picture wearing the Melario Ruby tiara. The photo from 2012 was taken inside Queen Maxima of the Netherlands' lavish wardrobe and in the background, racks of shoes and a Gucci handbag can be seen, along with a dressing table, a woman possibly Queen Maxima of the Netherlands herself can be seen in the mirror watching her daughter play dress-ups. Also known as Queen Emma's Ruby Tiara, the Melario Ruby Tiara is usually reserved for Dutch queens only. Here in above picture, at a party in Sweden, in 2006, Queen Maxima of the Netherlands wore a large brooch from the other ruby set in the Dutch royal collection, the Ruby Peacock Parur. Another beautiful ruby design, this royal tiara takes its names from its distinctive peacock tail shaped centerpiece. Created in 1897, the ruby peacock tiara was unseen for many years after being handed down to Princess Irene by her grandmother, Queen Wilhelmina. In recent years, it has been worn by Queen Beatrix and Queen Maxima of the Netherlands, who has taken it abroad on royal tours. The matching brooch can be seen pinned to Queen Maxima's dress. The set also includes earrings and bracelet. The Dutch royal women tend to mix and match the pieces from the both ruby sets. The Niarcos Ruby Bandeau is one of the smaller tiaras worn by the Spanish royal family, but it is also one of the most versatile. A suit of rubies made by Van Cleef and Arpels were given to Queen Sofia of Spain as a royal wedding gift by billionaire Greek shipping tycoon Stavros Niarcos. Queen Sofia of Spain wore the rubies as a bandeau style tiara on a velvet headband for a dinner with France's first lady Carla Bruni in 2009. The bandeau can also be worn with two rows. The piece also has a matching necklace, earrings, and bracelet. The King Edward VII Ruby Tiara is primarily worn by Queen Sylvia of Sweden. It can also be removed from its base and worn as a necklace. The impressive King Edward VII Ruby Tiara features high diamond scrolls with a central red ruby in each and several rubies throughout its base. It came into the Bernadotte family in 1905 as a gift from King Edward VII and Queen Alexandra to Princess Margaret. The Swedish Queen wore the royal tiara for a state visit to Japan at a gala dinner inside the Imperial Palace in Tokyo in 2007. This is the end of part 2 of the video. Check the part 1 over here. Rubies are known for their strong links to passion, romance and love. They are considered among some of the most expensive of all gemstones. The more intense the red, the higher the price tag. Rubies are also the birthstone for July and the traditional gift for a 40th anniversary. Priceless rubies form part of many royal collections around the world and are among the most important pieces in the Danish, British, Dutch and Monegasque royal families. In this video, we have learned more about the spectacular rubies worn by royal women throughout the years. Share your thoughts on the royal ruby collection in the European royal families which were among your favorites to comment below. Looking at this video, which are the things which you were not aware earlier and have newly learned from this video? And what do you love about the European royal families and their jewelry collection? And what are the known and unknown facts that you are aware about the royal families of Europe? Share your thoughts to comment below. Like the video and share with your friends and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching One Make Video channel. Enjoy your life and have a nice day.